life can take some unexpected turns. And when it does, the emergency room at Bradley Memorial is here for you 24 seven with certified emergency physicians, short wait times, a caring staff and top satisfaction ratings from our patients. We'll quickly get you back on your feet so you can quickly get back to your life. Emergency care at the Bradley Memorial campus of the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Care you can count on 24 seven. Our Hospital of Central Connecticut, New Britain Herald Athletes of the Week are a pair of standouts who helped their teams down the stretch to reach the postseason. Southington running back Alicio Diana has had quite the senior season, leading his team in rushing yards with 1,138 and has 12 touchdowns to go along with it. He is also Southington's second leading receiver, adding 21 catches for 422 yards and another three scores to his stat line. However, the senior saved some of his best performances for late games down the stretch, including 157 all-purpose yards against Cheshire on Thanksgiving, 50 of which came on a long pass down the sideline to set up the game-winning score with just a over a minute left to play, and 114 rushing yards and two touchdowns against Conard, despite only playing one half in the Class Double L playoffs. For the first time in four years, the Plainville girls volleyball team reached the Class M state tournament, and senior Martha Bolt Ramajuk played a key role in a turnaround that saw the Blue Devils go from two wins in 2014 to ten this year. Although the season ended with a first round three to one loss to Hayden Killingworth, Plainville began a rally late in the second game to make it a tough match for HK to win. With Bolt Ramajuk, a big reason why the senior tallied three digs, three blocks, eight kills, and one ace by the end of the match. Even though the senior will be moving on, she helped leave a foundation for the program to be successful going forward. And those are your Hospital of Central Connecticut Athletes of the Week.